I am one of the on-base administrators at San Francisco State University, and Arthur here is the one who built our OCR templates, and he runs our EDI process. So today, we're going to present to you specifically on a transcript process developed for San Francisco State University. So one of the things we did for OCR transcript processing in our previous installation of Singularity, we had a, another process for any docs that process transcripts, hard copy transcripts through OCR to extrapolate data and upload into our former EIS um, SIMSAR. Um, but now we are a PeopleSoft campus, and when we migrate to OnBase, this is one of our must-haves. And we worked closely with Highland to create a specific script to create uh, processing transcripts to get information specifically for district transcripts as a one pass to get all the information into not only PeopleSoft, but into OnBase. So one of our consultants, John Rokas, um, he suggested that we try scanning everything in color as opposed to black and white. And that, for us, seemed to have a big time savings in uh, regards to uh, the brightness and contrast to clear out the backgrounds. And so with the color, um, they showed us how to build templates to process approximately 35% of the transcripts. Um, because we receive about 65% EDI. And these large, still large volume scan transcripts that needs to be put into the system. So um, I would say 70% of the hard copy transcripts, we can actually extrapolate data and put into PeopleSoft. So this gives up huge time savings and manually entering all the course information. Um, we built templates for about our 50 top feeder schools and an average of about 45 minutes to build a template uh, with some being about 15 minutes long, some several hours long, depending on the complexity. Unfortunately, we are not able to build a template for every single transcript and some has to be manually entered. So going through the process, if a transcript can be OCR'd, uh, they'll be in the top portion of the slide. Um, it runs through a process. If a template is found, it will automatically detect and run through to extrapolate as much data as possible. Uh, we find that with PDFs, the accuracy is pretty high, say about 95, 96%. Uh, but hard copy transcripts, it's much lower, around 70, 75%. So there has to be a lot of manual adjustments. And so with any school that can produce EDI, we actually request the EDI from the school. And that saves us a lot of time. Any EDI that we see from San Francisco State, so I'm going with the other direction. So uh, Highland created a XML template to take in the EDI file to produce a nice version that you read type of template. Um, otherwise, it would be just random data that looks unreadable. With both processes, the regular coming in, coming EDI, and the on-base script that produces the TS-130 files, we can use the same process to load them into PeopleSoft. Um, we did run to some issues in regards to creating this on-base version of a TS-130. Um, I think we went back and forth with Highland for about a year or so, um, to making little corrections here and there. The biggest correction was distinguishing a school from a quarter school and semester school. And we finally finished that earlier this year, and happily, we're very happy with the process. Um, so Davis linking, specifically for transcripts, we have two different items in OnBase. One was created by our uh, central IT as a materialized view in OnBase. And with that, it has all our student information on there for auto population and reverse lookup. Um, it gets refreshed roughly about 24 hours, every 24 hours. So one of the items that we did like in the future in our previous installation uh, that we had Highland build for us is a reverse lookup where if you do not know um, a student ID, there's a, they create a button for us to be able to do a match with first name, last name, and it'll give us a list of IDs that we can select which student belongs to this particular document. So 
with just specifically on templates, we collaborate with several other campuses and we do, uh, we talk to one another um, and we actually held some kind of a, a Zoom session, like a mini conference, so to say, in regards to how to build templates, best practices and whatnot. And one of the things that we would like to try to do in the future um, is to maybe build a library of templates where everyone can just borrow, share, use, and whatnot. It would be a pretty big time saver for that. Um, another thing about collaborations that we do, um, Tuan, if you, probably most of you know who Tuan is or heard of him, um, he has done some kind of uh, cross-platform training, both on-site and uh, online with Highland and for um, training through Highland for certifications. Um, and if you want to know more about that, I can give you more information about that later. You'll be able to basically contact Tuan about that one. Uh, one quick question. So with the reverse look, look up, uh, how do you handle documents that are scanned into the system that do not have an ID? Do you use the reverse look up? Is there any way that you can use the reverse look up once the student does have an ID to populate uh, the, that keyword value in OnBase? Okay, so for our process, um, if a student, we cannot find an ID, we first put in, we use nine nines on there. So this is a reserve number, I assume, that no one has. And then later on, we had to manually check every now and then to see if a student does have ID. And if they do, we do a re-index. All right, seems to be no more questions. Thank you very much.